Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. As we continue this discussion on the Quran, connection between the Quran and Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam, I would like to just quickly recap the last podcast where we talked about the level of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam, and their marfa and their true understanding through the verses of the Quran and why it is important to understand the Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam. In this discussion, I want to talk about the, the merits of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. And we discussed six of the merits that Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam mentioned in the court of Yazid when he was bounded in chains and when his entire clan was killed and when the heads of her, his severed father, the severed head of his father as well as of the other youth of Bani Hashim were in front of him. He gave the sermon and told Yazid that Allah has given us special blessings, six blessings that Allah has not given any one of them, anyone else. And one of them is the love of ours, the Ahlul Bayt al-Islam, in the hearts of the Mu'mineen. So it is imperative upon us, us to understand this love and to ask Allah to give us this love. And the reason why we should have this love or ask Allah to give us this love and ma'rifat because it is something that comes from Allah. But we also have to understand why are we asking for this love? Because you do not ask for love for someone who's going on the road or you do not ask for love for someone who is just visiting someone else on in your neighborhood. You ask for love for someone who has merits, who can change your life. And that is the place that the Ahlul Bayt salam have. They have the merits. They can change our lives. They can change the lives of our future generations. But it requires us to make an effort. And that effort can be made only when we take the first step. And the first step requires us to truly understand the level of Ahlul Bayt salam. So, let me first talk about the knowledge of Ahlul Bayt salam and from the Quran. Because this particular aspect of knowledge will translate into the miracles that we have discussed in the past and that you would have come across in the speeches of uh, Maulana or Zakirin or others who talk about the merits of Ahlul Bayt salam Because these merits are the ones that differentiate the Ahlul Bayt salam the miracles that differentiate the Ahlul Bayt salam from others. So Allah mentions in Surah, Surah Ar-Rad, if there was a Quran, if there was a Quran because of which the mountains would have moved or the dead could have been spoken to, then this is the Qur'an, the Qur'an that we have. This is the Qur'an that can do all of those things. However, we do not, we cannot do those things. We, we do not see any one, any regular human being performing those miracles. But Allah mentions in Surah Arad, if there was a Qur'an that mountains would have moved with or you could have talked to the dead, meaning all the miracles could have been done, this would have been the Quran. So now let's think about this. Let's pause over here for a moment. There is only one Quran, there is no other Quran. And the blessings of the Quran is that you can do miracles with the knowledge, with the power that the Quran has. But no one in our life has seen these miracles being done. Not even the companions, not even the khulafa, not even the those who recorded the history or the hadith or Sahih Bukhari or Muslim or Ahmad ibn Hanbal or Abu Hanifa, none of them have any miracle reported from them except for one household that is the household of the Prophet. That is the household. That is the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. And you see these miracles from Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. So it means that Allah mentions in the Quran that if there was a Quran that would have allowed you to do these miracles, 
it would have been this. But we do not see in humans everyone able to who can read the Quran, hold the Quran, doing the miracles, except for a small group of people who are the direct progeny of the Prophet, whose imama was defined on the day of Ghadir. That group is the only group which has performed these miracles, and all 12 of them have performed similar miracles, whether to bring death to life, whether to bring gold from the earth, whether to talk to the animals or to the trees, or move the mountains or change the direction or travel the earth in a way that no one can uh, no one else can travel it was just this group of ahlul bayt who were able to do this so we know that quran says one thing and allah cannot be wrong and the majority 99.9 percent .9 of muslims cannot do it except for a handful of muslims handful from the progeny of the prophet sallallahu so that means that quran is true and there is a group of people who can do these mojzad in the next discussion we're going to talk about surah al-namal to further enhance and expand on this point. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.